Alright, so today I finished my two awesome custom twisty puzzles. They're all stickered and painted and they're turning pretty good, so I'll show you them now. The first one that I finished was this mini Fisher's Cube. And I got the American color scheme, or I think it's called the boy color scheme. I got, uh, you can see it. All the stickers are hand cut. And so you can finger trick it pretty well. It locks up though because it's a mini, uh, it's a keychain Rubik's Cube. So, as you know, Rubik's Cubes lock up a lot. The Rubik's brand ones. And I would say in all, this took about six hours to build. And you can see it shape shifts. And I already tried to solve it. It took me about five minutes to solve, so you can see it's all like shape shifting. Yeah, there's like a weird parody when you're solving it that I get sometimes, which makes it a little difficult. But that's about it. So there's a mini Fisher's Cube. Maybe I'll drill a hole in one of the corners and make it a keychain Fisher Cube. Except I think most people think those keychains are really annoying when you're trying to solve it. So actually, bad idea. I will not do that. So keychain Fisher Cube. My first custom puzzle completed. And here's my second custom puzzle and my favorite and definitely my best there's only two to pick from so not that hard to choose this if anyone doesn't know is a Tragerbers octahedron or Tragerbers octahedron I'm not really sure what to call it exactly what's the right pronunciation but so you can see it turns pretty good again these are all custom hand cut stickers I got yellow Fluorescent green. Uh, it's like a steel color. Fluorescent orange. This is chrome silver. You can see, see the camera there. And there's me. Well, it looks all like zoomed in. And then dark blue, white, and there's a red. So then, also might get a purple uh, vinyl sheet to replace this uh, silver or this steel color right here, because I don't like how close it is to like to the white. Like it's not too bad, but I would just like to have really like complementary colors going there. So, so far everything's turning good, and I might do a little more work on the inside of this puzzle to get it turning like amazing. Sounds like an e sheen, I think. So this is based off a Rubik's core. So not DIY. But I could always put on a DIY core if I wanted to. Shiny. So I'll give you one more view of all the sides. A little mix up.
I and in if you're interested in buying or you would like to make a trade offer and uh, any amount of money offer for these puzzles both of them or just one of them then feel free to send me a PM and I will consider your offer so mini Fisher cube sticker painted turning good everything and Trader Bros octahedron stickered painted and I will work on turning a little bit so it'll turn really good this neither of these have been lubricated yet so they're not going to be turning really good so far and I won't lubricate them uh, if anyone wants to buy them because they'll probably want to lubricate it with their own type of lube that they like the best alright subscribe to my videos